well, y y words, you know. <laughs> I, I, I can make a shelter. You go to bed. It'll, I'll be asleep in <laughs> 10 minutes. Are you sure? Kyle. Because, I mean, it's not that hard. I can help Does you. this face look unsure to you? Okay, if you need anything, don't worry. You can wake me uh, okay. up. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that won't be necessary. All right. You go ahead. You go to sleep. Okay. Good night, Snowball Sam. Good night, Klondike Kyle. Look at him go. Pathetic. He does, that, that shelter, it's, it's okay. I mean, look, it's, it's, it is what it is. We can't, we can't work with that. But what I'm going to do is make an awesome shelter. So the first thing that you need to get is some snow. Now, the lighter and fluffier, the better. You got to get some of the most fluffy snow you could possibly imagine. And uh, let's see, we'll put, it, we'll put it right here. Make a nice little, get all kinds of this snow, you know, all this, all this stuff right here. Going to make a nice little, little thing right here with the snow. Yeah, very good. Rome wasn't built in a day, and this shelter wasn't built in a day either. It took about 20 minutes. Next thing you need to get, a stick. Not just one stick, three of them. So, got these right here. Well, maybe. Let's see here. Uh, we'll put it right, right here. Wait. Oh no, 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 oh no. Okay. No, 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 this is not, this is, this is, I meant to do that. We got it, we got it, just put it there in the snow and, uh, oh no, oh no. Oh no. This, uh, this, this, I've done, I've done this before. My middle name is Arctic, I can do this. We've got this. We've got this under control. All right. Stick numero three. Ah! Right? Like, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. We're good. We're good. We got this. We got this. Set that. Well, set that. Sticks are going to catch on. There. And we'll, we'll put this <coughs> stupid snow, <laughs> that right there. All right, got that going. Oh, no. OK, 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 we got it. We got it. And we're good. OK, now the next, the next thing that the next thing that we need to get is a blanket to cover this. Now, we could, where's the blanket? It's in this, the warm cabin that we're not allowed to sleep in, apparently. So let's go. My lawn ornament fell down. There's that. Yeah. So let's go into the nice warm cabin and get this nice warm blanket. Oh, it's even warmer because it was right next to the warm stove. But no, we can't sleep in there. Got a nice blanket right here. Building a really nice fort here. Nice little shelter. I'm gonna cover this up like so. No. 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 Wait. Why would you be? Fine, fine, this is good. This is great. I'll just do this. Let's see. Let's see. Like this. Snowball Sam. What? Is everything okay out there? Everything's here? fine, Kyle. Everything's fine. Are you fine. sure? Yeah. It's you great. don't look fine. Why? No, no, no. I look great. It's great. I've got no, my shelter here. I don't see any shelter. No, no, no. It's a shelter. The definition of a shelter is that it covers you. And this covers me. Oh, it's so cold. Do you need some help, Snowball Sam? No, no. Yeah. Yeah, I do need some help. All right, how about you stand up and show me what you did, and we'll see if we can face it. Get, okay. up, get up, get off the ground. Okay, okay, fine. Snow. 
What'd you do to build your shelter? Hang on. Need some help? Just gotta, gotta rock it. Okay. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, okay. 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 All right, so what did you do? Okay. So the first thing, first thing that I did, oh, first thing that I did was that I got some, some of the snow, right? Wait, Maybe. you got snow? Yeah, okay. the lighter and fluffier the better. Got the snow. And then what did you do? And then I got the poles. And or, you put the poles on the snow? Yeah, I put the, I put the poles well, right Sam, there. that's your problem. Well, what do you mean? Look, this is way too light and fluffy to hold up your fort. But your the shelter. lighter and fluffier the better. No. Every builder knows if you're going to build a structure, you have to have a firm foundation to hold it. Well, Otherwise, it'll just fall apart. Oh. Look, look at mine, look at mine. You okay. see what I have on the bottom here? Yeah. I have big, sturdy ice blocks. Those aren't going to go anywhere. They're going to be firm and steady, so you can build a shelter on top of it, and it won't fall down like yours did. Huh. Interesting. So, like, you had a firm foundation there, mm -hmm. and it stayed up. Interesting. You know what I'm thinking? What? It's just like the Bible, you know? Just bear with me for a moment. You know how, like, the Bible, it's like the most important thing in our lives? Then the firm foundation is the most important thing in the building's life. And so you have, you have the most important thing here, which is the foundation, and you build on that, and it doesn't fall down. So if that's, we make the Bible our foundation in our lives, then our lives wouldn't crumble apart. That's exactly right. Huh. We need to build our lives on the firm foundation of God's word so it doesn't fall over like your shelter. Yeah, so it doesn't fall over like my shelter. Yeah, your shelter. Your shelter didn't fall over. You're right. It's yeah. nice, isn't it? It's, it's great. I like it. I you like do? your shelter. Hey, it's Snowball a great shelter. Sam, yeah. how would you like to stay in my shelter tonight? Your shelter? Oh, your shelter. Yeah. Wow, I mean, I wouldn't want to, you know. No. I'll just build another no, one. No, 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 no. I, I, I couldn't. Do okay, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll stay in your shelter. All right, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Good night, Snowball Sam. Well, you're sure you're okay? No, you, no, you, you, you go well, in Well, I want shelter. you to, I don't want you to go, spend all this no, time no. making another shelter. Shh, 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 go to sleep. Okay. Good night. Good night. Woo, nice and warm. All right, boys and girls, give them a round of applause. That was excellent. Now, let's review what we've learned so far this week, all about the Bible, this vacation Bible school. And on Monday, we learned the Bible is the book of... It is unique. It is unlike anything else because who wrote it? Because who wrote it? 66 books all in one. They all agree. They tell us who God is. They tell us who we are. Gives the answers to all of life's questions. The Bible is the book of books. It is one of a kind. The best seller, the most read, the most loved. Translated more than any other book. Then we've got the Bible's incredible impact. Snowball the hair teaches us because he changes from dark to light. And the Bible will change your life from the inside out because the Bible has an incredible I said the Bible has an incredible, the boys and girls today, the letter again is B and the Bible is our bedrock base. You guys are bedrock, you guys are base. Are you ready? The Bible is a bedrock base. The Bible is a bedrock base. The Bible is a bedrock base. It is the firm foundation on which we can build our lives. It will stand the test of time it will stand the storms of life because the Bible is true. The Bible is trustworthy. The Bible never changes. It's always the same. Our verse today is Matthew 7, 24. Jesus said this, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken unto a wise man to built his house upon a rock which was wiser in the sketch was it klondike kyle or snowball sam because he built his house on something solid his structure was built on hard packed ice instead of little fluffy snow boys and girls what are you going to build your life on how are you going to form your opinions of right and wrong? How are you going to make decisions about how to live your life? What are you building on? Is it the Bible, which is true, or your opinion, which could change, or society, which is wrong? How are you going to decide the difference between right and wrong? You better listen to what Jesus says and do it. So here's your verse for today. How many of you are going to say your verse today? How many of you are going to say all your verses today? 
How many of you are going to say your books of the Bible today? How many of you already said it? Raise your hand. How many of you are going to say it today? Raise your hand. You know, you can sing it. You can use the song. That'll be fine. You get a candy prize out of the bag. Now, here's what I want to do real quick. <coughs> this, when we come back for closing assembly, we've got some time. We're doing great. We're going to hear your cheers, and I've got an expert panel of judges to decide who gets 10,000 points. But what I want to do right now is go ahead and hear the cheers. We're not judging the cheers just yet, but I want to hear your cheers because this will give you an opportunity and a chance to size up the competition, to see what the other team's cheer is and what you've got to beat to get the 10,000 points this afternoon. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the polar bears. Then we're going to go foxes and then huskies and then cubbies. Each team gets a chance to stand up and practice their cheer. We're going to do that right now. Polar bears, are you ready? Yeah. I said, polar bears, are you ready? Yeah. All right, give me a teacher to come up to the front and lead. Polar bears, stand up. Let's hear.